The first step is to turn on the machine. Once it is on, the machine will start the initialization process. While it is initializing, open up the program UV Probe 2.21 on your computer. You will then click on the Connect button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. In order to prepare to take a baseline, you will need three cuvettes, a waste beaker, chem wipes, and DI water. Fill two cuvettes with DI water within a centimeter of the brim. Use the tissues to clean and dry the outside of the filled cuvettes to ensure a clear pathway for light to travel. You can begin to prepare your sample cuvette while the initialization is finishing up. When initialization is completed, you will get a confirmation on the screen. Click OK. Push the A4 button on the spectrophotometer to connect it to your PC. You are now ready to take the baseline. Wipe the two cuvettes that contain DI water again and place them in the spectrophotometer. It is important to orient the cuvette properly. The clear sides must be on the left and right hand sides. Before you record the baseline, set your desired wavelengths by clicking the Kinetics Method button and typing your wavelengths into the WL1 and WL2 boxes. For this demonstration, our desired range is 800 nanometers to 350 nanometers. Click OK. Now, click the baseline button on the bottom left part of the screen to start ensuring that your wavelength baseline parameters are uniform. Click OK. The baseline will stop once it reaches the end of your range. When it is done, it will show the absorbance of the baseline, which is zero. You can then remove the baseline cuvette that is in the sample slot, which is the one closest to you. Replace it with your sample cuvette, once again making sure the clear sides are on the left and right hand side. Click the Start button on the bottom of the computer screen. Choose the Overlay Graph option on the upper right-hand side of the screen. 
the machine will run your sample and give you an absorbance value. Let's take a look at what's happening going on inside the spectrophotometer. Shown here is a diagram of the light path in a UV1700. The light is emitted by a halogen or a deuterium lamp, depending on your selected wavelength. In this case, our wavelengths are within the visible spectrum utilizing the halogen lamp. The light is reflected off of the switch mirror, which rotates automatically in response to the set wavelengths. The light then enters the monochromator through the entrance slit, is reflected off the diffraction grating, and leaves through the exit slit. Once passed through the stray light, filter, the light is reflected onto the beam splitter where it is split into a sample side beam and reference side beam. These beams then pass through the reference and sample cells. The unabsorbed light is amplified by lenses before hitting the photodiode detectors which translates into an absorbance readout. The UV1700 is used to analyze the relationship between concentration and absorbance as shown in Beer's Law which has popular applications to food, drug, and medical testing. Slick.